With technology constantly improving, VFX in movies are becoming more and more stunning, with some visual spectacles being created that are impossible to pull off in real life. But the behind the scenes videos of some of the best stunts in movies are a little less impressive. While we do of course appreciate the hard work that goes into finishing these stunts, we thought we'd take a look at some of the best stunts from the biggest movies before the use of VFX and how they look quite a bit different. All right, let's take a look. Henry Cavill may be the perfect, albeit underutilized Superman, but seeing the scenes and stunts he performs without VFX is a little less super. Whether it be him flying through the air while attached to strings in front of a green screen, or his rooftop battle with Batman in BVS, the scene looks a lot goofier without the help of computers. But my favorite scene without VFX has to be the moment Superman is reborn in Justice League and ends up scrapping with his fellow leaguers. The best bit is easily the moment he fights Flash, which is choreographed in slow motion as a group of guys in green suits help Ezra Miller around. But of course DC isn't the only superhero franchise that relies on CGI to bring their stunts to life, with some of the Marvel scenes just as underwhelming in pre-VFX. For the 2012 Avengers movie, the scenes where Cap jumps off a bridge, uses his shield to block himself and Natasha from an impending explosion, and the moment Thor and Hulk fight off the Chitauri during the Battle of New York look a lot less impressive and badass than the final movie. But for me, the funniest moment is the moment Thor wrestles Hulk, which looked cool in the movie, but in this behind the scenes shot, Oh yeah, not so much. Keeping on the Marvel train for now, toot toot, the scene in Captain America Winter Soldier where Anthony Mackie's Falcon does some pretty cool moves to escape from falling debris looked pretty awesome in the movie, and so cool because it looked like a pretty close shave. However, the pre-VFX shot looks a little different with Mackie doing a couple of slides in an empty room in front of a green screen, making it look like he just, well, kind of fell over on a slippery floor. On the subject of Captain America, the battle at the airport between Team Cap and Team Tony in Civil War was another epic scene, and while not quite the same size and scope of the comic battle, was still a sweet face off that saw our favorite heroes pitted against one another. However, the behind the scenes shots of them performing the scene aren't quite as intense as they lazily and kind of awkwardly run towards each other, with Ant-Man at one point even doing a random flip. Yeah, sometimes you need VFX, editing, and a bomb soundtrack to make a fight scene look so good. The Avengers Endgame final battle is also pretty similar, with the behind the scenes shot somewhat underwhelming. And last one on Marvel, otherwise we could be here all day. Another epic action sequence in the MCU comes as a portion of the Avengers duke it out with Thanos on the planet Titan using all their powers and skills to try and take him down before he unleashes havoc on the universe. However, the size and stakes of the scene don't look quite so good without the use of VFX, especially when you see Thanos as Josh Brolin in a mocap suit while standing on a platform so he can actually match the height of the Mad Titan. One of the best parts of Harry Potter is easily the fictional sport of Quidditch. And am I still exceptionally bitter that they cut Quidditch World Cup game from the Goblet of Fire movie? Yeah, maybe a bit. However, as magical flying brooms don't exist in real life, the team had to use practical measures to bring it to life, which are frankly a lot less impressive. To shoot the Quidditch matches, the actors are shot sitting on a prop broomstick which is attached to a crane while the actors are attached to strings and then filmed in front of a blue screen while a wind machine is used to make it look like they are actually soaring through the air. Speaking of riding, Avatar is basically all VFX. With the movie being shot with motion capture in front of blue and green screens on a scaffolding soundstage. All of which is less visually impressive than the final product. But the biggest anticlimax has to be seeing what the banshees that they ride look like before the use of VFX, which is just some moving gray faceless equipment shot in front of screens. When it was released, The Matrix was known for its stunning visuals, which for the most part still hold up to this day. One of the most famous examples of this is the famous bullet time scene, which was shot with Keanu Reeves attached to strings in front of a green screen, with there being 120 still cameras and two motion cameras placed in a circle around the actor, and were used to give the illusion of movement. 
For the moment Smith and Neo dive towards one another in the subway fight scene, they were also shot in this method, with the two actors again suspended from wires. The moment Quicksilver does his thing in the Pentagon scene in X-Men Days of Future Past is easily one of the best scenes in the movie, and arguably the entire franchise. The scene in real life though looks massively different, with Evan Peters shot on a treadmill in front of a green screen to capture him up close, while a fan was used to make it look like he was moving at super speeds and get that rippled look. As he runs around the room, Peters was shot running in front of, you guessed it, a green screen, with him then digitally inserted into the shot. Like a majority of Snyder's work, the movie 300 was shot in almost its entirety in front of a green screen, with the behind the scenes shots looking a lot less visually appealing than the ones we get in the actual movie. The visuals were used to emulate the comic books, and one of the most iconic scenes in the whole movie is the part where Leonidas and the Spartans kick and throw the Persian messengers into the pit. Of course, the real life pit wasn't that deep, with the actors attached to a screen and then lowered into a fully green foam pit, which looks like something you'd find at a trampoline park. The Velociraptors are easily one of the coolest elements of the Jurassic franchise, and their look and talons, you know, they're known by all. But seeing them without CG has a very different effect entirely. That's because for the motion capture performance of the Raptors, they have to dress a dude up in a green suit, and place a raptor head on him, while he pretends to be a dinosaur, which is a lot less intimidating. The Phantom Menace isn't exactly universally loved, but when it comes to Darth Maul, even Star Wars fans all agree, that guy's awesome. With Maul having an air of mystery and dread all around him. However, this is all somewhat undercut when we see shots of Maul behind the scenes as his hoverbike is replaced with a blue prop. He used a kid's trampoline to pull off a Jedi flip during his fight with Qui-Gon on Tatooine. And my personal favorite, wearing jean shorts while shooting their subsequent rematch. Because, hey, even in a galaxy far, far away, still gotta have jorts. Okay, this one might not be a movie, but Game of Thrones is also known for being an absolute visual spectacle. Except for the Battle of Winterfell, because, I mean, no one could see the damn thing. However, the moment the wildlings scale the wall is one of the most visually stunning scenes in the whole series. Although, of course, it's all a trick of the camera angle and the use of a handy green screen. Tormund's beard still looks sick, though. The Revenant is predominantly known for its in-camera effects and use of Steadicam and natural lighting when it comes to the movie's overall visuals. However, scenes like the bear attack were, of course, all CG, with Leo instead wrestling with a man in a blue costume instead of an actual bear. Cause you know, health and safety? Speaking of health and safety, instead of sending James Franco off on a hot water balloon down some rapids for the crash scene in Oz the Great and the Powerful, the production team lowered the balloon with the use of wires down in front of an all blue stage and then added in the water in post. A lot less exciting, but better on insurance. And finally, while these aren't stunts as such, it's always interesting seeing CG characters behind the scenes, such as Smaug from The Hobbit, Tweedledee and Tweedledum from Alice in Wonderland, Rocket Raccoon from Guardians, the Dragons from Game of Thrones, the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, and my personal favorite, the Super Pig from Oakjaw. Kind of ruins the illusion, huh? <laughs> 